Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and carrying on the heels of my previous video with respect to the Akedah the, um, the binding of Isaac. It is generally uh, accepted that this final test, the binding of Isaac, was the last of ten tests, ten trials, that, uh, that Abraham, our father, uh, was given. However, uh, Rabbeinu Yonah, in his commentary to uh, Pirkei Avos, the uh, Ethics of the Fathers, says, no, Akedah Sitzak was the ninth. The tenth trial was burying his wife, Sarah. She dies in, uh, in um, Beersheba, sorry, in, in Kiryat Arba, in um, Genesis uh, chapter 23, verse 2, and uh, he says that while the other ones were clearly tests from God, he, uh, this one over here seemed perfectly natural. Uh, no, nothing supernatural happened. The test was that he wasn't given this test verbally from God. It just happened. And he displayed patience and uh, faith in God and perseverance. He purchased the land uh, he arranged for the purchase of the land from Ephron Ahiti, Ephron the Hittite, for 400 silver shekels. 4,000 years ago, that was an obscenely expensive price for any piece of land, let alone a cave. Um, no words, no complaint, no fetching, no haggling. He paid it, and, and all the while, Sarah laid her, uh, her body uh, lay before him unburied. Uh, and he did it with an equanimity and a patience and um, kept his head and was, was unflappable uh, in his grief, in his sorrow, in his bewailment. Um, that, uh, according to um, uh, Rubenu, uh, Rubenu Yona, that was uh, uh, the test. Akedis Yitzhak, the ninth. It required to, him to do something that was uh, inconsistent with what he had believed up until this point, child sacrifice. I mean, this is something that the pagans do. Um, but when Hashem tells something, uh, tells you to do something, you do it. And um, even in this trial, the burying of his wife, he had God's support uh, when he rose to the challenge. Um, the test of the burial of Sarah was of a subconscious uh, nature. He had to accept Hashem's will without being uh, commanded, without having any idea that uh, it was a test. Um, he was in a frame of mind that, with the circumstances, could have destroyed a lesser man. Um, he could have been... Uh, lost his heart, can be completely crushed at the loss of his wife. Um, but instead, he uh, was in a frame of mind to accept uh, any uh, major challenges to his faith. He passed this test along with all the others and uh, subsequently imbued his descendants right down to this day with the ability to emulate uh, his precedent. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you find them uh, useful. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.